Couple of runners. Restless but settling, they sprinting from the 1200 meter mark. Will Omi is right there, white sleeves and cap. Wheel Chommies is near the rails. Stevie G then comes Blue Eyes. Another day in Africa. Trade War, the white cap on the right hand side. They'll follow it further back in the run by Gunsmoke, then two of us. Along the inside of that is Mount Greylock. Tribute to use about eight lengths off the leader, then Happy Wanderer behind that Northern Warrior. Further back is Queenswood. That's racing about 12 or 13 lengths off the leader as they move to the 600. Another day in Africa, just the leader, Gunsmoker, second. In third is Trade War, Willow Mears at the rail, White Sleeves and Cap, then Stevie G. Blue Eyes towards the inside, then comes two of us, Mount Greylock, and towards the inside of that, Quizmaster. Top of the lane, 300 meters to go, another day in Africa. Gunsmoke on the outside, then Trade War, Mount Greylock, and then comes Blue Eyes. Over the last 200, though, another day in Africa, and Trade War, Mount Greylock's running on. Two of us towards the outside. Trade War and Mount Greylock over the last 50. There's nothing in it. Mount Greylock won it. Trade War second, then two of us, and Northern Warrior. Number two, Mount Greylock, the Coup de Grange, Sean Veal, Dennis Dreyer for Eric Bear, bred by Richmond Highlands. You'll see changes legs close home and ends up winning it at 12.10 and 3.10. Second, number 12, Trade War at 2.10. Third to two of us, that's number eight, and that pays up 4.50 a place. And then Northern Warrior, number 13. Further back was Blue Eyes. So the winner, Mount Greylock, is towards the middle of your picture in the orange and is behind a wall of horses and then goes towards the inside. So at this stage, another day in Africa, trade war with the white cap towards the right and Mount Greylock now three off the left-hand side, puts it together to record its third win and goes on to score and win it by about a neck or so. So number two, Mount Greylock, 12-10 and 3-10, Seanville, Coup de Gras, Dennis Dreyer, and for Richmond Highlands, wins the running of the fifth. Third favorite was number four, tribute to you. Back to the studio. The fifth race of the day has been run, and it's gone the way of Mount Greylock for Dennis Dreyer, second time today. Sean Veal, second time today. But for Eric Burr, first time today. Well done to you, Eric, and Richmond Highlands have bred this gelding who's made us wait for his next win 434 days to be exact but he's got it all right this time goodman's with me he gets a thousand rand on behalf of hollywood bets and on behalf of gold circle well done to you goodman congratulations and i'm sure you're just as chuffed with this win as your team is well done thank you sean veal's in now i'm going to ask you a question that may seem a silly question but for those that you know, are still learning about the industry, and, and, and we're all still learning, but I heard you say to Stewie in the, parade, in, the, in the winner's box here, he did everything in his power, he still looked to get out of it. Explain that terminology. Yes, you know, Warren, if you see the source work, you never say he's only a two-time winner. Mm. You know, and uh, every time he works, we fancy him. And then, like, he's let us down. But I always say to the boss, he, he doesn't enjoy the poly. At the same time, I think he was a bit high in the rating. And uh, with him dropping, we put the blinkers back on him. He traveled smoothly throughout the race, looking for galloping room. Just I timed it to perfection, because when I got there, he stopped. So well done to Mr. Burr. Big support of my bosses. To Stewie and his team here, flying the flag here. This can put a smile on the big boss in Cape Town. To Mrs. Dreyer, thank you very much. To my sponsors, John Doe, thank you for the opportunity. And of course, my wife and my two kids, this one's for them. Sean, well done. And I'm glad that he's rewarded you all today because there's nothing worse than those kind of horses that show you the world at home and they just don't really put it in. And thanks for explaining that. Uh, obviously, you feel, you know, you say you hit the front at the right time because the moment you did, he wanted to give up sort of thing. You can feel them sort of letting down underneath you. Yes, Warren, you know, you can feel it. Like, I, I don't need to, to explain to you, like the first race I cruised through them. Thought I'm going to win by four lengths, she just won. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, well done, good race, good ride. And uh, yeah, the boss in Cape Town, uh, I know things didn't get off to a great start with that, with that first timer, but it's a long game and uh, the drier stable, they'll bounce back in, in a big way. If a lot of people watch that first timer, when he left the parading, they said he would never won. 
parts it's fine we go back to the drawing boards and uh, we'll see when he runs next time how, yeah. how good he really is well done sean lovely chatting come on Stu. and yeah of course uh horses you've heard now from sean and you would know you've also I mean, I suppose pulling your hair out with a horse that shows the world in the mornings and just doesn't really put it all together. But he's put it all together today. So let's enjoy the moment now. And wonderful for Eric. And uh, he'll be thrilled, of course. Yeah, just obviously well done, Jake. Another horse he's been really patient with, like you say. You know, he's, he's, got, us, he's got us baffled. You know, the blinkers are on or blinkers are off. <laughs> 12, 14 thousands. But uh, when, he, when he does put it, he, you know, he, he's got that ability. I mean, when he's made in Cape Town really well a long time ago. But uh, yeah, obviously it's well done, well done to, uh, to Eric and well done to Dennis and Cape Town. Well, thanks to, uh, Stu, all the best to you in the stable and yeah, uh, obviously you talk to Dennis and Jill every day and uh, you know, discussing the horses, etc. And uh, we look forward to the stable uh, you know, firing up in Cape Town, it'll be great because uh, it's not often the drier stable go down there with, uh, with no joy. No, often, you know, we've been down there, often they take one, one yes, run just yes. to, get, to get settled in and it's a completely different change for them. So yeah, they'll hopefully, as long as they improve, we'll be happy. Lovely. Well done. Good day today thus far. Sweet. Thanks. Thank you. Well done to Stuart Ferry and to Dennis and Jill down in the Cape. All the very best to you. We miss you here in KwaZulu Natal and uh, it's certainly a yard that are good wherever they go. And uh, Eric Burr, congratulations. You've had the patience and uh, this horse has rewarded you with the first prize today.